Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I post four beauty related videos a week on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at 4pm. But this week we have a bonus video because it is Friends Week. So welcome to Friends Week because I am going to be doing, oh how many videos? I feel like five videos related to Friends. I think the haul on Sunday, Monica's video Tuesday, then I'm going to do a lip swatch video Wednesday, Thursday will be Rachel, Friday Phoebe and Saturday, no Saturday Phoebe and Sunday will be the big palette and in today's video we are doing Phoebe so this would be Saturday's video wow we're nearly at the end guys wow <laughs> this has been an amazing week and you know what absolutely love this palette and if you want to see how I created this look with Phoebe's palette and her lip stuff then just stay tuned Time to test out Phoebe's makeup and this, there's going to be lots of kids screaming downstairs, I'm so sorry. It's got the blue packaging, well the pastel blue packaging with her taxi. Then it is the same on the actual palette. These are the shades here, as you can see they are all related to Phoebe, like Smelly Cat, Ice, um, Lobster, Bike, Triplet, all related to her storylines. So yeah, let's just start swatching this. So we're going to start off with Smelly Cat. Lobster and triplet. Ooh, I like triplet. Triplet is that pink shade right there. Then we've got ice, flaky, and buffet. They're nice, but not anything like they're not swatching as pigmented as they are. On my eyes, for the other two palettes, they were much better than how they swatch, so don't take it by the swatches, I'm telling you. Then we've got Science Boy, Bike and Ditsy. We have a glitter. Wow. Oh, those kids are so loud and the window's shut so I don't know how to shut the noise out. So here is the whole palette swatched. Again, they don't look as pigmented as the other two palettes have been on my eyes. Again, none of these palettes have swatched that great. But the pigmentation on my eyes have been incredible. So let's just dive straight into it. I have a bit of P. Louise base on and we're going to go for something a bit more neutral today because I have done some pretty dramatic looks for me already with the collection. So we're going to use this shade here called Ice and just put that all in my crease. Because we know when we use that big palette, I am going all out with that palette. And because there's nothing to deepen it up with, I'm going to go in with this like orange shade called Lobster. And I'm going to go below the shade um, Ice that we just put in. I'm gonna go for some bit light, neutral, easy. You know, there's literally one more matte in this palette, and this is called Buffet, which is like a mauvey pink. And you know what? Let's just add that into the crease and see what we get. Because the orange has barely done anything. And then I'm actually gonna take Triplet, this shade here, and just put that all over my lid. It's lovely, but I just wish some of the shades were a bit more matte than shimmers because like a deeper shade or some more pastel colours so I feel like I can barely do a look with this especially that I'm not that creative it is really working dry but I feel like to get the oomph I'm gonna have to wet the brush definitely had to wet the brush for this one but do you know what I like the look and then I'm gonna take that same brush that we've been using this whole time and just blend out these edges but do you know what, this is just like a cute everyday look. The eyes are complete and you know what, as uninspired as I was by the palette, I actually, oh, okay, I actually like what I've created. So I'm just going to do my base makeup off camera. My base makeup for all these friends videos has been exactly the same because I just want to focus on the product and keep the base the same. That way we really know how good these products are. So I'm just going to keep my base exactly the same and come back when we're, I might actually drag one of the colours under my eyes. So I did change one thing in my base and that was, I used the MUA Pro Base instead of using the Conceal and Define and I just mixed 130 and 146 together because I feel like F8 is just a little bit too dark for me now. Now I want to take the shade Ice and run that all the way under my lash line. And I'm going to take this shade Flaky in my inner corner and below my brow bone. So for now, that is the eyes complete. I'm actually 
feel like a bit more fresh in this video like a bit more natural looking so now i'm gonna go in with the lips so the lipstick as you would have seen in my haul comes in a box just like the eyeshadow palette and it has her name the taxi on it and then the actual lipstick bullet looks exactly like the satin kiss ones and it has the shade of the actual lipstick there now i have lined my lips already because this is quite a dark shade and i know that i will mess up on my lips if i do not line them first just like this burgundy color but i do know it comes off a bit lighter once you swatch it so it looks a bit darker there this is what the lipstick looks like on my lips i'm actually glad the eyes are a bit more neutral because the lips are bold and they just steal the show it's a very moisturizing satin formula but it's not too satin i've got my Barry M lipsticks and they're very satin whereas these a little bit more matte than those like not as creamy but they are movable and creamy I feel like with this if you're going to eat throughout the day you should powder under your lip just so that it doesn't hit your chin because that happens to me quite a lot now let's go in with the gloss so the gloss just has lobsters all over the lid and it's like a pastel blue color but this is like really a little bit deeper than the lipstick you can tell it's a bit darker but it's gonna make your lips look so juicy come on this is a me shade making sure there's nothing on my teeth this is gonna be so good in autumn season like look at it it's just amazing my teeth look even whiter it's moisturizing they're not patchy at all the color is amazing just put a really thin layer on so you know I swatched it I actually used what was left on the brush for my lips I love this I absolutely love this color okay everyone here is the finished look what do you think I am in love with this look it's very natural very like minimal but yet there's a bold lip in place like I, I don't know like I just really really like this look let's review the palette so the palette is something that I wasn't as excited for as the rest of the range it's not my favorite I feel like my favorite at the moment is the Monica palette but I can appreciate the shades in there and appreciate that this is something a bit more natural and I would have appreciated a, maybe a couple more pastels in there but this is something a bit more natural and what it is is you just change up the shimmer on your lid you could do a little halo eye with it, it's got glitter or you could use that glitter in comparison with the other palettes so yeah overall £8 for this palette I would pay again I feel like I'd love to buy this collection and never touch it absolutely love this, I just wish there was more matte shades in it but overall it is a lovely palette absolutely lovely the lipstick other than monica's lipstick this is probably my favorite as well just because it's a more bolder one and do you know what i do love a good bold lip when you've got natural eyes and this is really really nice lipstick very moisturizing it probably will bleed so you're probably you're going to need a lip liner and do you know what even with the lip liner the, the shape of the lipstick was easy to use so I really really like the lipstick and six pounds you can't go wrong can you but my fave of the whole collection has to be the lip gloss the lip gloss is to die for it is my favorite I don't know what else to say it's nice it makes my lips look more juicier for oh, and for six pounds again like I know usually their lip ranges are five or but I would pay the extra pound just because it's in collaboration with friends absolutely love it those are my final thoughts on the friends range well phoebe's range from the friends collection let me know your thoughts down below and please like and subscribe down below because we're getting close to 500 and that giveaway is coming guys and i will see you next time bye guys